hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you guys are all being safe getting prepared to arrive here in north cyprus in one month's time or two months time so all right guys and if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is blessing my husband and i we are satisfied agent here in north cyprus so we give you the teas on north cyprus how to come and study here and every other information in between to know the culture of the people and every other thing so this is the channel for you so, so you guys please subscribe to the channel comment and put your concerns on the comment section so i can answer as much as i can answer all right so let's just get into the video um i think i will link some of my previous um accommodation videos i'll just be linking it different cards i'll be linking it this card that i link here is for you to click it if you just click on the card on the screen there the thing will pop it will take you to the video so or if you just want to finish watching this you can as well um go to my description box you will see the links to all this accommodation video so i'm still going to be talking about this accommodation i think i'm not going to stop talking about accommodation because i get every time i have different kind of um questions about it even more new questions so that's what i'm going to be talking about so first off i just want to explain again i see but i've not explained before that accommodation here majority of students i think 98 percent of students or even 99 percent of students stays off campus so the school system or the housing system here in north cyprus is more of students staying off campus so so we have apartments for students, condos for students. We have different kind of things for students, depending on what you want and what you can afford. It's all available. So, um, and also let me, because it just entered my mind now. So, and also I just want to tell you guys that, um, the prices of houses or the prices of apartments, because we call, um, accommodation yeah apartment so don't feel like it's one kind of big no apartment I'll, I'll still explain that so um the prices of our apartment depends again one on the if the house is um a new house like a recent new house that like they, they just built like three years two years one year or just now the price will be different also um older houses like five years ago ten years ago would be different than much older houses the house the price would be this them different and also again i want to say that it depends on the kind of facilities that are in the house or in the apartment that also increase or reduce the price it just depends on um what is inside there there are some houses that literally like literally you just need to just carry your box as you're coming from your home country and straight up into the house you don't need to buy anything there are some houses like that and there are some houses that when you come is most of the house here is furnished house but the more the most um the recent one is the one that you can just carry your box and come in um some though then the other ones and everything you just need to buy maybe something like mobbing stick one or two things that you need for yourself and all that but it is furnished so all this my point is just deriving telling you guys that it depends on the um the stuff that is in the house the prices depends as well so now okay let me now explain how accommodation is if you've been watching me for the longest time you already know that you already know that i keep saying this so i'm going to give you an estimate and mind you again this estimate that i'm giving you it can be higher it can be lesser it can be that price i've already told you why it's if it's higher is because the house is very very tush okay but this is the most estimated price that the houses or the apartment should be you shouldn't go above that except the facilities are higher okay so for a and there is a way we call houses here a three bedroom flat is called three plus one a two bedroom flat is called two plus one 
a one bedroom flat is called one plus one a self contained is called a studio apartment i always tell you guys one plus one two plus one studio and everything i want you guys to be familiar with the words that we use here in north cyprus because i cannot just be telling you three balloon flat and all those things when you come here you, you you will not be able to grasp so that I, I want you to start now to understand that we call this three plus one we call this one plus one we call this um, studio and the rest of it i hope you understand this now the next thing that i'll be talking about now is the prices the estimated prices for a these days to be honest except is like a large phrase or like a siblings these days i don't really go for three plus one because a three plus one now is a three bedroom flat and normally students like sharing the room so if you stay two 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 is not six people it depends on if it's like a family members or your friends that you know before is okay but i like going for two plus one because now the crowd is less so two plus one is a two bedroom flat one sitting room one kitchen toilet and bathroom separate 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 okay so now for a two bedroom flat i'm not going to call it this two bedroom again two plus one so for a two plus one now is two rooms in the two plus one when you hear two or you hear three or you hear one anything plus one that means it's telling you the room so a two plus one has two standard room so in these two rooms how students live here in north cyprus is that they share the room okay they stay two in one room two in one room so for a two plus one the standard price or the estimated price will be 300 pounds and this 300 pounds because i've had this question and i want to use this um those um opportunity to explain for you and this 300 pounds is one month so if in the two plus one which is um 300 pounds you guys are staying two two that's four of you so the 300 pounds is going to be divided into four people and if you divide 300 divided by four it will give you 75 so each person will be paying 75 pounds per month per month per month okay because i've had this question so yes yeah, so this is how it will be so when you hear the 300 pounds it's not just you're the only one going to pay no you're not the only one you guys are four in the house or in some cases some people like their privacy so much that they will say okay since it's a two plus one i will occupy only one room like i don't want a roommate I will stay in the house alone so people can say okay you can stay alone i can share you can be three in the house you can also be one one there are some people that say okay no fine no problem i take one room you take one room i don't want any sharing inside the room that's having a roommate so in that kind of situation which you guys are two inside the house 300 pounds you're going to divide it into two so 300 divided by um two will give you 150 so every month you uh, each of you will be paying 150 150 if you're staying two in the two plus one that's you're occupying one room to yourself the other person is occupying one room to yourself no um crowd and all that then also again the next one is um one plus one one plus one is one bedroom one sitting room i say sitting room one sitting room or you can call it one parlor kitchen toilet and bathroom okay so for a one plus one now you can stay two inside because is you have a one um, one master bedroom to yourself then you also have a sitting parlor you have a sitting room so some people share it most people share it but some people stay alone in a in a in a rare case but most people share it because if you want to stay alone totally you don't just want to share with anybody the best option in my opinion is to stay in a studio 
so a studio apartment is a self-contained it's just a big room just one room okay a one room that inside that room there is um your bedroom like inside the room there is a bed space there inside the room there is a kitchen there you know how they build the house and all that i'm going to show you a clip a clip let me just explain inside again there is kitchen and toilet and bathroom just inside in one space you understand so that is self contained that is studio so if you don't want to share you don't just want anything 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 um this is the best option to go for okay a studio apartment so this is the explanation again all these prices that i'm calling it is just for one month so for example now i just think i just remember for example now um some landlords are willing to collect three months rent so this is how they do the renting this part is very important so listing well okay when my mind is telling me that i've not talked about the price of one plus one and studio but um the price of one plus one is almost similar to um, two plus one so the price will be around 250 pounds for one month for a one plus one then for a studio you can see from 230 to 10 200 for a studio it depends and all this is per month all right so now let me explain how the um structure the payment structure of north cyprus how it is so now for an apartment like this now the landlord the owner of the house might say okay i want my tenants now you guys are living there to pay me three months then you pay me one month deposit then one month commission so let me explain so the three months now is the three you're paying for three months rent like your rentage is for three months then the one month deposit the deposit is the, just like the word it itself deposit is the money that is going to be kept if for example you come into the apartment and everything everything is set and arranged not like as in everything is okay in the apartment then for example you break the television or you do something you you you, you guys got into a fight or you scatter something everything they are going to use that your deposit to repair the house or if the money is not enough they're still going to collect more money from you to repair the house okay however that's the reason why some um landlords they, they demand for two months deposit because with that two months deposit at least it will go a very long way no matter what you destroy in the house so but the good the good news is that i don't want to go deep into that but there is nothing to say again the the good news is that if you guys live amicably normally in the house and you don't spoil anything and everything is just the way it yeah the way you saw it and everything they are going to refund you back the landlords are going to refund you back your deposit because the houses that we connect with we always make this clear for them that if our student they come here and they stay for whatever duration of time and they didn't spoil anything you're going to return the money and they'll say yes and we'll sign the agreement so yes so your money is going to be refunded back to you straight up it will be refunded back to you so now for the commission most houses is being done by agent and everything so there's some houses that they will just build it and the landlord will give it to an agent house agent and everything so that commission is the money that belongs to the house agents okay so if you're paying um 300 pounds your commission will be 300 pounds that's why i said is for example three months rent one month deposit sometimes it's two months but we always we always bargain for one month then um commission so if it's a three three months stretch um um rentage that you're paying you're going to times three times one three and um, three plus one plus one that is going to be five so you're going to be paying 350 times five that is the whole apartment that you guys will share it within yourself i hope you understand that explanation so yes yeah, so this is how the house and everything works so i'm going to show you a clip of one house uh, yes it's a two plus one house that i went to a couple of yeah it's been a little while it's up to two weeks anyways that i went 
and i saw the house the house is very nice and the location is very perfect because it's just like i think two minutes to the bus stop or three minutes to the bus stop very nice location um things from um supermarket and everything is just in that location so let me not talk too much let me show you the clip of the location and this one is just see just see so guys today house hunting has been quite very oh see my phone everything quite very productive so as you guys can see this house right here not this one in the back but this one here it's so classy i'm gonna put the pictures on the screen but it's freaking expensive so yeah all right guys so i'm right here in the house hunting um house hunting like i told you guys but the house is we've seen a couple of houses to be honest we've seen a couple of, a couple of houses but sometimes there are so many things that is involved when it comes to house hunting and that is involved like i told you guys the, the facilities inside how new the house is the location also affects the price this house i just contacted the person the landlord and everything the house is sophisticated i'm going to put the pictures on the screen but the price is expensive, expensive. it's very expensive 400 pounds yeah, it was, she was saying uh, six months rent, two months deposit. So yeah, so that is it. That is, but the house is beautiful. You basically somebody that really have the money. I don't know what. Yeah. So okay, so as you've seen, the apartment and everything is a very beautiful one, located in a very beautiful site and everything. However, this boils down from, to the beginning of my video that I told you guys that depending on how new the house is on how furnished the house is the prices changes so in this house now this one that i show you that it is so beautiful and everything i'm going to put the picture now okay i didn't put the picture so i'm going to be putting the pictures so you'll be seeing and all that so this house now the prices is more than the usual because i told you that a two plus one house is 300 like the normal price but this one is above the um the normal price and everything so they said that the house is 400 so i was trying to um bargain and talk and everything the last price they gave me was like if the person is going to be paying for one year if i'm wrong because i cannot go to get our chat now but if i'm wrong i'm, I'm going to put it on the screen but i know that they were saying that it's one year rent so i was like one year rent in this pandemic is not going to be possible so you're like okay if you're going to be paying for one year and they're going to reduce it to 390 pounds but if it's a six months rent that's the max they can collect they're going to collect 400 pounds so there are some people i even saw some blacks living there so it depends on your pocket and it depends on if you like the house the way the picture is that is how the house is inside so if you like it you can also still contact me the house is in left kosher the house is in left kosher so if you like the house and everything you can as well contact me and i'll tell you how you go along and also i just want to say this that even if you are not my student you didn't come through my agency and everything and you want me to get accommodation in all the cities left kosha maguza kyrenia all the cities even left key all the cities i'm gonna get that for you so just listen how the whole structure is if you're paying for a six months rent because that's the most popular um the popular um duration they always say six months rent so if you're paying for a six months rent one month commission one month deposit okay so it's going to be six times two because commission and deposit so that is going to be two so the rent is six months the deposit makes it seven the commission makes it eight so you times it by eight and you divide it among the people in the house and that is your price so again if you want to contact me for accommodation just contact me that's fine that is good i just remember something if you're in left key or you're schooling in left key and you want to contact me just know that the houses the prices are very affordable and again is um what they call it it's a one year rent that they collect they collect one year rent there because the prices are very 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 affordable okay so in recapping everything that i'm saying because i think i've 
pushed everywhere when it comes to the accommodation i talked about the prices i talked about the estimated prices and what would make the price to be higher i talked about um the facilities in the house like everything that i can talk how much two plus one one plus one studio how much it costs and everything so what i just want to tell you guys is that I have gotten a lot of lot of i i've been working you see i don't upload video a lot like i used to do i've been doing a lot of work because this is august without this pandemic and everything <laughs> there will not be space people that came last day just say you can by this time you won't have been able to see houses in the right location it's only houses that are inside at this time of august that you would have seen but because of the pan pandemic people are not that much as they supposed to be and everything that's why there is still houses by this time we will not be talking about house now and everything so for all of you even my students contact me again for the accommodation because i know some of you have and everything i've shown you the pictures and everything so but that means for the accommodation because this is the time when you're coming from your home country you have to stay in the house right okay so you know when you land you not start um, looking for house and running around and everything so if you want accommodation every other thing just contact me and we'll just do everything i think this weekend i'm gonna be going to maguza because maguza have a lot of you there so i'm gonna show you pictures of maguza houses and all that thank you guys for watching i hope you guys understand and grabs everything that i've said thank you and i'm gonna see you guys in my next one bye